Here's one for you. A 1956 Chevrolet Bel Air. Isn't that gorgeous? Listen to that rich roar of that beautiful V8. Oh, can you honk the horn? Joyride is brought to you by Holiday Jubilee and Addicted to Americana. This is major, this is real, this is deep. Oh, I know. Oh, it's going. So is this the original top? The original top. Oh, look at that. When you have a 56 Chevrolet Bel Air with the original convertible top, that is rare. Look at the glitter of the glow of all of that beautiful chrome. Oh, everything about this car. It's like a baby Cadillac. There it goes. Oh, I am feeling the spirit, aren't you? I love the taillights. Okay, we're going, we're going in. Thank you. So Bobby, so why a 56 Chevrolet Bel Air? The reason I got this car was because my very first car in high school was a 56 Chevy wagon and I really missed it. So for years I looked for a car like this and came across it in a internet advertisement. But I've always loved the Tri-5 Chevys because of their popularity and just their looks, the colors, the lines, the chrome, and they just, they put a lot of smiles on people's faces, and that I think has meant the most to me. I don't think I have ever taken a ride in a 56 Chevrolet Bel Air convertible before. I've never felt so all Americana, you guys, I know. It is a beautiful day in the neighborhood, you guys. Don't you love that brake service sign? That vintage signage is spectacular. You guys, we're getting a little impromptu tour of town. There's Fossilman's. They've been in business since 1919. It is our ultimate ice cream parlor in SoCal. So Bobby, what do you do? Are you in show business? No. No, I, I actually have a, a real estate business in Chattanooga, Tennessee of all places, but I live here in California. How much do we all seriously love Chattanooga? Speaking of Alhambra's legendary landmarks, where do we begin to behold the glory of this? The legendary landmark hat, serving it up since 1951. If ever, oh ever, there was a classic stand, this would be it. The best pastrami sandwich in the world. You guys, while we're in Alhambra, you have to see this as one of my favorite vintage neon signs in all of the world. He's got a burger in one hand and a pie in the other. Behold the glory. I know. Bun and burger. Look at that font right there. I know. Why don't you drive now? First time ever driving a 56 Bel Air. And let me tell you something right now, we haven't even gone one block and I am already feeling the spirit. I never dreamt the acceleration would be so responsive. I mean, I feel like, I, I feel like we could take off for outer space. No wonder everyone loves 1956 Chevrolet Bel Air so much, they drive like a dream. It's heaven to drive a 56 Bel Air. It's almost a little overwhelming. It's almost too much to take, but I can handle it. It just feels good. It just feels right. It just feels, well, so American. Okay, I am here to tell you that driving this car has been seriously a life altering experience. I never dreamt in a million years that this car would drive so beautifully. So this just shows you the different 
models that were available in 1956. You had Bel Air trim, which was the highest trim class. This was a hardtop because there's no post here. Four door hardtop, no post. And then you had station wagons, the convertible, oh, which you just drove, and the Nomad wagon, which is very rare, by the way. They're, they're more rare than the convertibles. I love this station wagon right here. Yeah, that's the Beauville station wagon. It has a third row passenger seat. They're also pretty rare in the Bel Air trim class. They're all rare. <laughs> rare is the day that you get to hang out with one. I know. Look at that sweeping side styling, that two-tone paint. Absolutely beautiful. And what kind of car is it? There it is in the ultimate classic automotive font. There's the little Chevrolet Bel Air bow tie right there for you. Look at that right there. I know. This is the hood ornament that's gonna take you places. It's like an eagle that had a baby with a jet fighter. How'd you like to see that in your rear view mirror? I love the diamond pattern on the seat back, don't you? I know. And this big old wrap around dash. Look at that right there. There's a little bow tie for you as a general reminder. The instrument cluster. Again, the little bow tie in miniature in the middle of the radio. And of course, again, the classic automotive font. Letting you know what kind of car you're in and it's always time for a Bel Air. Okay, you want to see under the hood? We're going in. The engine's all original. Here's the little power steering pump that they put on the back of the generator. That was unique. For what the, size engine is this? This is a 265. A 265. V8. I, I love, do they have a special name for this air cleaner? Yeah. Like It's actually an oil bath. An oil bath air cleaner? So in here is a little bit of oil and the oil would collect the dirt before it would end up going into the motor. I love the expression on the air cleaner. It's kind of fierce, I know. And of course, how much do we love the valve covers that remind you of the mark of car that you are driving in that classic font. Can you see it? I know, I love the original paint on the valve covers too. And uh, is this where the gas goes in? Where does the gas go in? So the biggest trick with these cars, you'd pull into the service station and you could mess with the kid and say, can you fill her up? And she, he or she goes, where do I, where do I put the gas? And it's always the running joke for those who have one of these cars. Where do you put the gas? You turn this bezel right here. Oh, you... magic. Life is full of surprises, you guys. Most of them are wonderful. Like this. We might as well get it out in the open. This 1956 Chevrolet Bel Air is more than a classic car. More! than a mid-century modern motoring masterpiece. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this 1956 Bel Air by Chevrolet is a world-class national treasure of the absolute highest order. Thank you, Bobby. Thanks for watching Joyride, you guys. Don't forget to subscribe by pushing the button right down below. Also, I'm loving all the comments that you're leaving. I mean, no one's holding back. Please do not tell me what you really think about these cars. Also, check out my website. I'm available to send you personal video greeting messages. That's where you're gonna find my books and my gift shop. It's charlesphoenix.com. Joyride has been brought to you by Holiday Jubilee and addicted to Americana. Order your signed copies now at charlesphoenix.com. We ship worldwide.